Hi, I'm visiting McGill University's campus and I'm taking you along. I'm Monica and I create videos about university and psychology. If this sounds interesting to you, subscribe to know when I post next. Today's visit begins at the Royal Victoria College, one of the student residences. Within a few steps, we reach the Dentistry and Psychology building. It's a very common scene, often full of students on a busy weekday. The path here leads to the McCall McBain Arts Building. Surrounding it includes a fantastic study space that surrounds the building. In a previous video linked in the description box, I've explored other parts of the McGill campus. Here, we'll walk through the other sections I have not already shown you. This includes the SMU building and the Brown Student Services building. Going up behind the Student Services building will lead you to another privately owned accommodation and behind it, the Stewart Biology building. Behind Stewart Biology is the McIntyre Medical Building, home to biological science laboratories and medicine teaching spaces. These are some of the inner spaces within this faculty. Now this is service point for uni admin. The office for students with disabilities is right behind it and it connects to the main library called the McLennan Library. You've probably seen the Red Path Museum and a wonderful view ahead. If you're lucky on your visit, you can also grab a snack here on the hot dog stand. the Burnside Building, home to the Science Undergraduate Society, among other teaching and learning spaces. This building is connected through a tunnel as well to Automass, McGill's chemistry department. A 
ahead is the Schulich Library, which is under renovation at the time of filming in 2021. There you have it. If you want to see part one of my McGill University campus tour, you can click on the end card or scroll down to the description box to locate it. Subscribe if you enjoy this video and see you in the comment section.